Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome to my YouTube. And welcome back to Bad Hippie's Book of Stupid. So, today's Book of Stupid, because my son, they, the, the Army moved his ship out date for basic training, and he leaves Monday. So, I figured today... Uh, for the last book of stupid before my son ships out for basic training, I would go ahead and tell an army story about basic training. So the story I'm going to tell you today is about that godforsaken, infamous, and hated gas chamber. Yes, a gas chamber. And that is something that every single soldier in basic training has to do is go through the gas chamber. And what that is, and what they do, is it's supposed to help you build confidence in your equipment to prove to you that your gas mask works. And I find a few flaws in <laughs> I find a few flaws in that line of logic. But basically, they they lead they lead you into this gas chamber in groups. And the way it's set up is it's a small at least at Fort Knox it was. I'm not sure exactly how it is now, but in Fort Knox, Kentucky, in 1985, it was a small cinder block building with no windows they had you had one door on the left hand side of the building and one door on the right hand side and it was just a small cinder block building and it had some bare light bulbs hanging off the ceiling and that was pretty much everything that was in the room and before we went in uh, we stood outside and we got our instructions it was okay put your gas mask on make sure everything's sealed and oh, now you sound like Darth Vader uh, <laughs> it was it, it does it really twists the way things sound and the way you sound it's hard to breathe to a degree you sweat a lot and they're uncomfortable as fuck but they work they really do work um, so we had to put our gas mask on and then they gave us our instructions about what we were supposed to do it's like you get in there and then uh, you'll be given the instructions by the drill sergeant to remove your gas mask and when you remove your gas mask you remove your gas mask in one swift fluid motion and then you have to recite your name your rank and the last four of your social because they did away with serial numbers and service numbers it's it's the last four of your social um, which just for recording purposes the last four of my social is now one two three four uh, <laughs> the last four of your social and then once you did that then the assistant drill sergeant would lead you out the other door outside and then drop you off with another NCO and go back in and do his thing with the drill sergeant and the other NCO would make sure that you were okay and that you didn't need any extreme medical care because although it is very very rare some people do have extreme allergic reactions to CS gas which is what they use um, <clears throat> and then you have to hold your arms out and move them up and down like you're a big idiot bird and you have to tell them my eyes are open and my arms are flapping sergeant because you're trying to shake you want to keep your eyes open because the longer you keep them closed the more that gas you're trapping inside your eyelids and and the harder it is to open them later you got to keep your eyes open so that you'll stop tearing up and your eyes will clear out and then you want to shake out to try to get that excess gas off of your clothing and all that kind of good stuff so you know you do the whole thing in the gas chamber and then you have to go outside my eyes are open and my arms are flapping sergeant and blah 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 and I was scared shitless I was absolutely literally positively scared shitless I did not know what to expect I mean I'd never even seen pepper spray up until that point and and I'm getting ready to walk into a room that's gonna be filled with with CS gas honest to God military grade tear gas so they lead us into the room and it's kinda dark and it's it's foggy it looks like it looks like a Jack the Ripper movie inside you know that 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 dark kind of dark eerily lit foggy thing and in the background you can't even really see the CS canisters across the back wall they're all kind of silhouetted and the light shining through the gas from those bare bulbs on the ceiling is kind of eerie and morbid looking and it's really fucking weird and then the drill sergeant steps up in front of me and he's got a gas mask on too and honest to God the first thing I expected him to say was Luke 
I am your father. And it's, <laughs> but so I'm not the first in the line. So he gets to the first guy, you know, gets to the first guy, and he's like, um, do you know what you're supposed to do? And, you know, of course, yes, yes, we do. Um, and you have to recite and tell him that you know what you're supposed to do and tell him what it is. And then he'll tell you, are you ready to remove your gas mask? And then there's only one correct response. It doesn't matter how you actually feel about it. The only correct response for that is, yes, drill sergeant. So he says, yes, drill sergeant, and the drill sergeant says, okay, remove your gas mask. And he removes his gas mask in one swift, fluid motion and immediately starts to gag and cough and cry. And his eyes teared up and turned beet red and snot starts dripping, draining out of, not even just dripping, flowing out of his nose. And he's coughing and he could barely talk. And it did what you could tell he was struggling to get his name, his rank, and his last four out. But he finally did it, and the assistant drill sergeant let him out of the room. And then the drill sergeant gets in front of me. Now here's where I'm going to get to the point about their logic not making sense to me. They do this so that you build up a confidence in your equipment so that you know the gas mask work. Well, I just saw what it did to him. I saw what happened to him. And I knew that even though my neck was burning a little bit and my exposed skin was burning a little bit, I wasn't crying and I wasn't coughing and I didn't have snot ropes hanging out of my nose and I could still think and talk. So obviously my gas mask work and I trusted it. Just let me walk the fuck out the door right now because, hey, I trust my equipment. I know it works. Exercise complete. No, not the way it works. Not at all. So the drill sergeant walks up in front of me. Do you know what you're supposed to do, Private Jackson? And yes, drill sergeant. I'm supposed to remove my mask. and <laughs> I'm supposed to recite my name, rank, last four. And then the assistant drill sergeant will lead me outside. What do you do when you get outside? Uh, I tell the NCO that my eyes are open and my arms are flapping, drill sergeant. And yes, okay. Are you ready to remove your mask? Every ounce of my being was screaming, Fuck no! Fuck no! I don't want to remove my mask. But my mouth said, Yes, drill sergeant. Then remove your mask. And I did. And I removed my mask in one swift motion. And I swear to God, it felt like somebody took foot-long hot needles coated in glass and sand and jabbed them into my eyes and my lungs literally caught on fire and I had ropes of snot coming out of my nose I you know the, the little children would have looked at that and said "Ooh, let's go swing and, oh my god it was the most horrendous experience in the world and I couldn't think and I couldn't talk and I hear this voice from somewhere in the distance it was it was it was far away but at the same time it was really close and it kept telling me name rank and last four trooper name rank and last four trooper and I hated that voice but I also knew that that voice was the only voice that could let me the fuck out of that room so I spit it out I don't know how I did it but I reached deep down inside and I spit it out Jackson Brian private one two three four very good and the assistant drill sergeant grabbed me by the arm and he led me out the door and he dropped me off with the other NCO and I'm standing in front of the sergeant and I'm standing there in tears I don't know how I kept my eyes open and my arms are going up and down like this and I said my arms are open and my eyes are flapping he must have heard that a million and a half times because he didn't even chuckle. He just said, that is incorrect, trooper. My, my, oh, oh, my eyes are open and my arms are flapping. Yes, and finally, I got it done and I got it out. And he's like, very good. Now go over there to the medic station, get yourself some water, wash your face off, get a drink, settle down, let the medics check you out and make sure that you don't need you know, oh my God, oh my God, it was horrible. It was horrible. And I'm sitting there wondering to myself for some odd reason, was this something that I should be proud of? And then I saw a private come running out of the gas chamber and a couple of NCOs come running out after him. 
and then they let him back through. And a little while later, he come running out again. And they come grabbed him and they let him back through because he just could not complete the exercise. He would take that mask off and boom, done deal. Finally, the medics would not allow the sergeants, the drill sergeants, to take him through the gas chamber again. So the next week, he had to cycle through the gas chamber again with a different training unit. And, you know, and when I saw him do that, I realized, okay, this isn't something that just anybody can do. This takes a little bit of guts and balls. So, yes, it is something to be proud of. And that was one of the most horrible experiences of basic training that I had. And I just felt I needed to tell that story because my son ships out for basic training Monday. And he is going to have to do the exact same thing. And oh my God, do I feel sorry for him. I would say I wish I could take his place, but I've been there, so no the fuck I don't. <laughs> Next week, we will be back with another episode or another installment of Channels That Don't Suck and then another episode of The Book of Stupid after that. Until then, please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Project. Let's please help support our veterans. If you like the video, then hit the like button, subscribe and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe and share. Please do not forget to leave me a comment. They are always welcome, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate your love your support, your time, your encouragement. You guys fucking rock. And until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.